man, I gotta tell you, it feels good to be feeling good again. And with that, brings my runs. And obviously just in time, because winter's here, and get this beautiful cold water retreat of mine. Um, and again, running and these late nights and stuff, they got me pondering on things that go on. And uh, as you know, what I do, I see so many people, right? And uh, along with a lot of self-reflection myself and what I notice about a lot of the people I work with and people I see is uh, we're all just strong individuals. You know, we're all just strong individuals trying to maintain that strength, right? But life and situations and surroundings and organizations and so many of the things, they're, they're like, like that water behind a dam just leaning on it all the time. You know, a dam is strong, but it needs to be maintained. And if water finds a weakness, it's going to break through, right? You got takers out there that just take and take and take and take and and sometimes it can be the people closest to us that don't see that they're taken and that's maybe all they've ever known and maybe they feel entitled to the take you know like for example some don't even know it think a baby for example baby is born weak and helpless and it's a take her takes a mom's body from her you know what I'm saying? She's going to fight to get it back. It, it takes the milk from her body. It takes the sleep from your rest. But a child can't help it. It doesn't know. It's just trying to survive. And then as it grows and we teach it to become stronger, it takes less. And it takes less. And, and hopefully if, if we do all things right and it realizes what's responsible, what, it, what, what that child is responsible for, it, it itself becomes a giver. Right? And that's the message here. We got to be careful who we surround ourselves because we're givers a strong giving people and, and, and some people need it like some adults don't know and they need the help and we got to try and help them the best we can but we need that balance of those that we give to that can only purely take at this moment in their life or maybe all they ever will do is take but we need to have an overwhelming amount of people that we're around that we love that we cherish that are givers as well and what I mean by that is is intimacy Right? Intimacy is not just between you and the person you're, you're living your life with, like your spouse or your girlfriend or boyfriend or whatever. Intimacy comes in other places. It's emotional. It's spiritual, right? It's physical. Someone you might work out with. Someone you might share the gym with. Someone whose shoulder you can lean on. That person's giving you a shoulder you can confide in and be your authentic self with. You can cry around. You can be angry around. There's no judgment no matter what comes out of your mouth because we know that we're all just having a moment sometimes and we need somewhere we can be vulnerable, right? So no matter what, I implore you, and I said it during the pandemic when I was peaking, if there was ever a time in our lives to take care of our physical fitness, right? To take, which is gonna help to take care of our mental fitness, to surround ourselves by other givers, people that are willing to, to suffer beside you, to lend and listen an ear, to not judge you when you're crying. And y'all know me, I'm the first person to say, suck it up, be strong, be tough. I mean, look what I'm doing, look where I'm coming from, right? However, if it wasn't for my wife and the friends and people around me that I can confide in and be my most vulnerable self when in need, I wouldn't be able to maintain the integrity and the intestinal fortitude that I'm able to walk this, this world with day to day. I wouldn't be able to give as much as I can give to those who also give, as well as those that take, right? So let's think about that. Be careful who we surround ourselves by. Let's take care of our mental health. Let's take care of our physical health. And be around more givers than takers, because that's where we're going to find the magic and the strength inside of us to stay resilient day to day in this life. Because I got to tell you, things don't get easier. We just get more resilient. And in order to do that, we need a team, baby. We need a team. I love you.